Let's look at the different types of testing that we will do as part of system testing and what all will be covered in them. First is functional testing. Hello everyone. Welcome back. In our previous videos, we explained the first two levels of testing in details. That is unit testing and integration testing. In unit testing, we focus on individual components of the software and in integration testing, we test if they work together properly or not. In this video, we will cover the third level of testing in details. That is system testing. We will also explain it with real project examples. So let's start with it. What is system testing? System testing is a type of testing in which the entire software is tested as a whole to ensure everything works perfectly together, not just in isolation. It is the third level of software testing performed after integration testing on complete and integrated software. System testing covers not only the code, but also the user interface, network database, security, and overall performance to ensure that the system is ready for the real world use. It is conducted by QA team, in an environment that mimics the actual production environment. Now, suppose your software is a hospital management system consisting of different components or microservices like um, user interface, authentication, appointment booking, patient record management, billing and notifications, etc. Et Each of these services is tested individually in unit testing phase then in integration testing, it was confirmed that these services can integrate with each other without any issues or not. However, in system testing, we will examine the system as a whole. Basically, while designing the test scenarios for system testing, we do not think about the individual components of the system. We are not concerned if the application's architecture is monolithic or microservice based which type of database it uses or what kind of catching techniques it uses. We see that the system as a whole is working properly from the user's perspective or not. So in case of hospital management system, in system testing, we will test the actual workflows. For example, one workflow can be a patient registers himself on hospital website and saves his profile then the patient can log on smoothly, look for doctors and check their availability. Finally, the patient will book the appointment by selecting a doctor, selecting the time slot and making the payment, etc. Now, billing is done accurately or not and charges are deducted accordingly or not through payment gateway. All these things are captured in system testing. Once the appointment is booked, the patient will receive notification via email and mobile. So as we see, this is a complete workflow and it will all be tested in system testing. There will be many such test scenarios covered in system testing. Let's look at the different types of testing that we will do as part of system testing and what all will be covered in them. First is functional testing. In functional testing, we verify all the features of software according to the requirement specification. We test all the workflows of application from a user's perspective. For example, in an app like Instagram, we can check whether a user can log in, post videos or pictures, browse their videos, press the like button and see if the like count increments or not. If someone watches his video and likes it, the count should increase. Essentially, all these workflows from the user's perspective are tested in functional testing. Now, the second one is non-functional testing, which is another aspect covered in system testing. It includes the non-functional aspects of the software, such as how it handles the load, its performance in different workflows, 
and what happens if millions of users try to use your application at the same time. We check if it is scalable, it can handle the load, it is performant and is reliable. Meaning what happens if one of your server crashes? Can the load be transferred to secondary server? Non-functional testing also includes compliance testing. For example, if your hospital management system is deployed in a European country, it must follow all the compliance parameter sets by that country for hospitals. In system testing, security aspects of software are also tested to ensure that they are in line with the compliances like a GDPR. We also perform security testing as part of non-functional testing to make sure that the software is secure from vulnerabilities and data is also safe. All these aspects are part of non-functional testing and are covered during system testing. Third is regression testing. Regression testing is essentially a set of either automated or manual test cases designed for the application. They are useful when releasing a new version of the app or adding new functionality to an existing app. In such cases, we go through all the regression test cases to make sure that the new changes have not adversely impacted the existing system functionalities. The fourth is recovery testing. Recovery testing is also covered in system testing. Here, we basically test if the software is resilient or not, meaning it has the ability to recover from crashes or hardware failures. Fifth is compatibility testing. In compatibility testing, we test the software for its compatibility with different kinds of devices, which is again a part of system testing. In this, we test our application on different browsers, devices and operating systems to make sure that it's compatible with all different kinds of devices or not. So all these aspects are covered in system testing. System testing basically helps us to ensure that the software is in a robust state and can be deployed to an UAT environment for testing by real users and business stakeholders. If we find any bug in system testing, then it goes back to the development team. They will fix it and after their unit testing and integration testing, they will give it back to QA for again a round of system testing. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will cover the fourth level of software testing that is acceptance testing. Now don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this.